Okay. What? Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Matt and welcome to the summer patch for Circuit Superstars. That's why I'm wearing the sunglasses and on many reasons. But uh, there's so much to discuss as this update brings in a lot of cool things that I wanted to share with you guys today. So with this update specifically here, uh, they already had oval racing, but it was something that I hadn't really partaken in much. And then they've also got the brand new tubular sprint car. Um, this has been quite some time since I played this game, to be quite frank. So I am not going to qualify all that well, if I'm going to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. It gets worse. Okay, that's now... Great. Yay. So... Brand new car and brand new circuit. It is the tubular sprint car on the Poke Bowl. I keep on wanting to think Poke Bowl because my brother's obsessions with Pokemon. Um, but we start in the back of the grid in 11th position against, uh, unfortunately, AI. I was going to try to get an online lobby set up today. Uh, just didn't happen. So making our way through the pack immediately all the way up into 8th position with a brand new little sound effect for uh, making games. So let's see if we can go around the outside. Not quite there. We're already halfway through lap 2 of 15. Got a couple of cars having some struggles around that corner. Again, we're going to see if we can keep that momentum up. Again, pass around on the outside. This track does not have a pit lane. And uh, good news is that we don't have to take any pit stops. It's just raw pace. There's no strategies. There's no nothing. But I really need to get into the racing line here. I am just going on the outside of the corner. So it's not really doing too well. So let's make our way up into sixth position. Now we are still going way too fast. Losing two positions immediately here. Man, is this very exciting. Very actually difficult to drive on the dirt track here. Um... It's not at all something against developers or anything, but it's just like it's just a, a purpose-built vehicle that is just challenging on these dirt ovals here. Again, uh, not a gripe or anything against the developers. They, you know, developed this very well. Um, but man, I should actually really start breaking and, and getting on that racing line there. We're already losing quite a bit of uh, time there to the ever encroaching ninth position here we're a little bit more than halfway through our little oval race yet uh, I think we can kind of kiss goodbye to any podium positions or anything of that kind of nature we are just not doing too well today look at that Ugh, going way too wide as ninth position makes their way up try to cover up on the inside got a good slide going perfect that actually worked out well so as we're getting into the closing stages of this uh, course here uh, one of the other many updates that uh, original fire games had provided in their update of circuit superstars for the summer patch is of course the long awaited uh, name plates here where you can actually toggle them on and off in the middle of your race you can even toggle uh, the little arrow that um, turns on to show you where your car is. But I actually really like how good the, the little text looks over the vehicles. It's a really nice uh, change where we can actually tell who everybody is when they have identical liveries. Uh, but of course, finishing in 8th position, a full, uh, almost a full 12 seconds down from uh, the podium positions. Uh... That's just on me. That's that's not on anybody else. That's, that's just me. Moving our way very quickly away from whatever we just encountered here. We are now going to try out the brand new uh, Sunnyside Park. I had to double check that name there. Um, actually, a pretty simplistic course. But I actually do quite like it. Um, let's just ignore what ever happened before the 
the qualifying lap there as I'm still getting used to the controls once again after not playing this game for probably about a month or two, going to be quite honest. But I think we're going to do well. I don't... Okay. <laughs> I don't think I deserve that, but I, but I definitely got it, I guess. Uh, pole position in qualifying there. Uh, adding towards uh, our newly acquired XP meter. I'm already level 60. I don't know what that means, but it means something. All right. And away we go. First lap of 10 here. Pulling away quite nicely already. Uh, ducking in on the apex there. Riding the curb, going wide, and defending against Frida. Going across the line in now lap two, making quite a large gap. And uh, I really do not have the racing line well figured out in that uh, spot yet. Of course, uh, with the GT cars, I want to... Yeah, this is GT class. Uh, with the GT class here, this course actually does have a pit lane. And that means that we actually do have tire wear and fuel management and of course, damage. Uh, fortunately, I haven't screwed up royally yet, yet, <laughs> to uh, warrant any damage to my vehicle. Somehow, some way, uh, racing rather cleanly, uh, but clean racing does only clean racing is only quote unquote clean if you stay on the track. And uh, the past couple laps have been all right. Um, so, so far, so good. I should really work on, you know, laying off the gas there around the penultimate corner there and uh, kind of putting down the brakes a little bit. So, uh, really slow down the vehicle, really get a better angle on this here. A little bit of a slide there. We've got 73% uh, on the tires and 66 on the fuel. We are on lap 6 of 10. Uh, I don't think that we're actually going to need the pit. Uh, we can watch the map to see if anybody else does, uh, but it's such a short race, I don't really think that uh, pit stop is really warranted at this moment. Uh, going really, really far into the uh, corner there, almost nearly clip that little bumper, letting you know that uh, you've exceeded track limits, so please don't do that. Nearly did it again! So, yeah, again, I should really work on that. So, uh, the rusty muscle memory is uh, slowly but surely coming back as we make our way into, once again, the last corner of the second to last lap. We're already about to make our way past 12th position. Let's see if we can pass them cleanly. Oh! Off the course there, having a huge moment there. Fortunately, we've had quite the large lead over the uh, second and third positions. And we cross the line in pole position. Ah, beautiful. Two second lead. Getting some additional XP. And enjoying the celebrations in first place the brand new update so as we discussed you know brand new car brand new tracks uh brand new sound effects within the race itself but uh upon the title menu title screen or the menu main menu uh many of you could probably tell immediately that there's a pretty big change and that's up in the top left corner here where you actually show the ranks of your grand prix of your online competition and your time trials now as far as grand prix goes welcome to grand prix mode very nice um Unfortunately, I had actually gotten pretty far in all of these cups where I actually had gotten to about the pro level through pretty much all of them. So now that we're starting back from square one, a little bit sad. It's like, ah, I got to go back and do it again. But it's such a great game that honestly, I don't mind replaying it once again. It's just a little bit sad that we all have to start from square one again. Uh, I like, I like this part, how... All the individual championships are locked 
apart from the very first one. So it kind of has like a loose progression system now. If you're just picking up the game for the first time now, it really lends to a very well progression system system where you start with the uh, pick Picino. Picino? Pacino? I'll call it Pacino. With the Pacino Cup car uh, basically loosely being a feet 500, and then slowly but surely making your way down into, you know, the old cell Formula One, into, uh, you know, sprint cars, 80 GP, 80s GP legends, stock cars, and then ultimately into the Formula GP World Series. So I really do like this. This is cool. Um, but again, got to start from scratch, which is, oh, oh, well. So rather than sitting here watching, you know, having you guys witness me fumble around in uh, the Grand Prix and murder everybody very quickly as it is only in like the bronze tier or whatever, um, or the amateur series, I uh, figured we'd try out some of the other new features. So of course there was time trials to begin with, but now it is ranked, which it changes over every week by the sounds of it. But um, I'm very interested to see how this works out. Let's see if we can beat a Nico Minardi with 13 and a half second time. Um, there's no way I'm doing that. If I got 14 seconds, I would be already amazed. So in our brand new track of the Sunnyside Park. Once again, we just completed that uh, with the um, GT cars. So let us begin our time trial. So across the line, we are going into the first corner. They're a little bit wide, but this car is so, so much more grippier than the uh, GT cars here. Uh, fortunately, no tire wear or anything like that. That would be kind of interesting now that I think about that, having a uh, like a time trail system where you actually had like fuel and tire management. That would be that would be really interesting. Uh, but nonetheless, we're making our way down the main straight. We're already into the 14 second range uh, with our ghost car really sliding close to us here just really taking every inch of the curb that we possibly can to see if we can get even just a minute um, improvement. And we have quite a huge moment. We're going to have to delete this lap time completely as it is now null and void. We can't really catch up to the ghost here. Uh, already some very quick flying laps that I posted in the first couple of uh, turns. And once again, same spot, same moments, running wide, uh, slamming against the wall and just kicking the tires full of grass and dirt and uh, just losing all sorts of traction. So we're going to break early and go in on the inside. Already so much better. Seems to lend a lot faster pace through that section. Of course, uh, probably should have let off the gas and had a little bit of an issue with that chicane section. So we're going to see if we can repeat what we did earlier, but actually let off a little bit there. Let off a little bit here. Perfect. Uh, but the uh, one of my previous ghosts had just the perfect line through the end. I don't know if we're really going to be able to improve much here. We're in the 14.298 uh, section. Hopefully, I would like to see a sub-14 time. I don't know if I'm good enough of a driver to be able to pull that off. I am a casual racer who, again, hasn't played this game in well over a month. So there's, yeah, there's no hope for me on that one. <laughs> there is no talent here. There is just flailing around, hoping to God that I can get a good enough time, which, yeah, I think, I think we've already lost it. Let's see if we can get some donuts going. Not very well. Hold on. There we go. A little bit of one there. 14.298. <laughs> I'm happy with that one. Look at that. In 132nd position. The times are close. If I could get... Uh if I could get into the sub-14 time, I would easily be 
beyond uh, 100th position. But best I could do for now, that's all right with me.